Do you want to make a before and after transition just like this one? Hey guys, this is James and welcome to an another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a before and after transition just like that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to the world of Premiere Pro. So here you can see this is my project and I've used some clips to demonstrate the before and after transition. This is the clip where I haven't used any color correction or color grading and this is the clip where I have color graded the video. So I want to show the before and after state of this two clip. To do that, I have to use a transition called whip transition. Using whip transition, we can make before and after transition. So let's keep it aside and make a new sequence. I'm just making a new sequence by clicking here and maybe increasing the resolution to 160. Okay. And let's work with the fresh video. Here is my video. I want to color grade it and I want to make a transition where I can show the before and after state. So I want to work uh, with this part. I'm just trimming the usable part of this video. Uh, let's color grade it. Go to Lumetri color, go window, then click on this Lumetri color section. Then this panel will appear and make some color grading. As this is a lock profile, I want to apply a correction LUT. This is Sony S Log 2 video, so I'm selecting Sony S Log 2 correction LUT. And maybe I want to increase the exposure a little bit. Then increasing contrast a little bit, decreasing the highlight, increasing the shadow a little bit. Okay, it's looking good to me. Then go to creative section, maybe I want to sharpen it up a little bit. Then add a new Lumetri color, then go to HSL secondary. Let's sample the skin tone. Refine it a little bit and go to Lumetri scope to see where this color stand. I want to make sure this skin tone line is aligned with the color of my skin. So I'm just increasing the color a little bit and then maybe adjusting the tint slider a little bit so that the skin color is correct. Now I can increase the saturation a little bit to give it a little pop. Okay, perfect for this video. Now I want to uh, copy this Lumetri color and paste it again here. So I have two Lumetri color where this effect have been applied. So I want to select the last one and I want to invert the selection. Now I want to see where the selection is. I'm isolating the skin color. Now I want to apply some teal color on this section go to the shadow section and maybe add some teal color and on the mid tone side i want to add some orange tint okay my color grading is done if i just show you the before this is the before and this is the after now i want to use the wave transition to demonstrate the before and after state of this video let's make a cut here then go to effects panel and then go to video transition here and then go to whip transition and on the bottom of this section you will get an effect called whip just click and drag this whip transition on top of your video now if i play it back you'll see nothing is happening because both clips are same so i need to delete all the effects from this first clip to remove all the edits right click on it and then go to remove attributes and then click ok then it will remove all the effects that you have applied on it now if you play it back then you'll see there is a transition going on yeah we want that but we need to modify it a little bit more click on this whip effect and then go here if you want this transition happening from a corner then you can just click on this section then this transition is happening from a corner so i'm just uh, selecting a side which is my left side clicking here now I can make a border just by increasing the border width. Maybe 12 is good for me or 15. And I can select a color. I'm selecting white. Maybe increasing the border width a little bit more. And let's see how it's look. It's look good. But I want to slow the transition a little bit more. To slow it down, I need to select the wave transition then if i take my cursor on the side of this transition then you'll see the cursor is transforming like this then click and drag this and you will get a longer time duration of this transition now play it back yeah here it goes 
So that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one, then give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and if you have interest to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.